back to my channel. So first things first, if you guys want to see a tutorial on the makeup I am wearing today, um, I will be posting this video very soon. It is a no brush makeup challenge and I created this look today using only my fingers, which they're kind of like sticky and whatnot but um yeah so this video will be coming soon so give this video a like up if you guys want to see this makeup tutorial using absolutely no brushes and for more information on my lashes or my nail polish or anything like that um let me know in the comments so today's video is going to be my top six drugstore lipsticks and I find lipsticks to be very intriguing. I can't help it if I go into a store and I'll be like, I'm not spending any money, I'm not buying anything unless it's like a snack or like trail mix or whatever, like a thing for my cat or something. I'll always go and check the beauty aisle just to see if there's anything new and as always starts there for the doom because as soon as I walk into the beauty aisle I swear I just cannot resist if I find something I like or if I find something that I've seen there a bajillion times and I'm like oh well I have the money and I haven't tried it and I've been wanting to try it I normally always buy it which is so bad for me so yeah today I'm just going to be doing my top six favorite drugstore lipsticks I have more and um, but these are the top six if you guys want another like a part two to this video I'm um, on maybe like another six drugstore lipsticks that I love or a drugstore um like lip glosses that I love then please let me know in the comments down below so on with the lipsticks I have a ton of lipsticks um, okay, so I just have them right here, and I'm just going to be picking them up as random, so they're no particular order to the way that I love these lipsticks. I love them all. So, the first one is a Maybelline lipstick, no surprise. I do believe this is in their nudes range, and this is in the shade 910 Bare All. It just looks like this. It's a nice nude concealer color. Let me see if I can swatch it for you guys. It's a nice nude concealer color. I don't even think you can see it. It's right here. Like, that's how nude it is. And it's like the perfect chalky nude. Now, because I am mixed and I do have a fairly darker skin tone, when I picked this up, I was a little bit disappointed at first until I found out a way to make this lipstick look okay on me because the first time I tried it, it was just too pale and it made my lips look really chalky because I'm like really dark compared to this lipstick. I mean, you can barely see it right here on my hand. It's like right here. But um, I started mixing this with other colors and I started to gloss like my lips differently. And I started using different moisturizers and things like that. And I noticed that it really did help with this lipstick. But this is still one of my top six drugstore favorites. The next lipstick is also a Maybelline lipstick. This is in the shade 655 Darling Nude. This is like my perfect... Now, if I were going nude um, for a lipstick, this would be my perfect shade. This shade is a perfect nude brown. It just looks like this. So this is what the shade looks like. It's just a beautiful matte brown shade. And I love how it has like a purpley blue undertone to it. It looks great on my lip. I love this shade for when I'm just going out. If I'm not wearing like any makeup and I just want something quick on my lips. I will throw on a little bit of chapstick and I will throw this uh, lipstick on over it. And I may like put on a little bit of mascara and I might just head out the door. It's perfect everyday color. It's so simple. It's not too bold in your face to where you look like you just have a bold lip on and absolutely no makeup whatsoever it's perfect now I did load this color up a bit on my hand so you could see the actual color payoff of it but if you just put a thinner layer on your lips it is a lot nicer and a lot lighter and sheer so definitely go and pick these lipsticks up I think that these Maybelline ones are about six to seven dollars a piece but they are definitely worth it they are creamy and moisturizing and they have a matte finish if you get the nudes range so the next shade I have is another Maybelline one. This is from the Maybelline Color Sensationals line, I believe. And this one is the shade 745 Peach Poppy. I absolutely love this shade for in the spring or in the summer because it's just a perfect peachy shade. And it just looks like this. So this is the shade right here. This is Peach Poppy. It's just a nice corally pink peachy shade. And I absolutely love wearing this any day of the week 
for spring or summer. I do like to wear this shade for winter as well. Like if I'm doing a really bronzy face to make myself look a little bit less pale and ghostly in the winter, I will pair it with that lip right there and maybe like a bold black eye or a nice... Um, like a dark brown eye and it just looks so nice because it kind of gives your face like a little bit of warmth to it as well so I absolutely love this shade once again this is peach poppy the next drugstore lipstick is from hard candy this is in the shade 780 popular and it just looks like this this packaging is so adorable unfortunately is reflecting in my camera but um this is what the actual lipstick looks like and swatch it for you guys. So this is what this one looks like. It's more of a Barbie toned pink. I absolutely love it. It's like a purple based or purpley blue based undertone. So it's perfect for darker skin tones um, who are looking for a good Barbie pink because I find that I have a lot of really nice Barbie pinks, but they are the wrong skin undertone for me, if you know what I mean. So when I put them on, they just look too kapow in your face, too pink, but it's not like a nice pink that suits my undertones of my skin. But this one really, really works nice with my skin because it's a nice bluey purple undertone and it is very moisturizing. Surprisingly, when I tried this, I thought this was more moisturizing than an actual chapstick. Like, that's how moisturizing this lipstick is, especially because I have pretty dry to chapped uh, lips most of the time. Um... And they like to sink into my fine lines and I really, really hate that to where it makes me have to wear a gloss or like really chapstick under my lips. This one, I do not need a chapstick. I do not need a gloss. I do not need anything. I can put this right on my lips and it just moisturizes and it glides on so easily and you can set it if you want to and make it matte. This does have a little bit of a glossy finish as you can tell right here. But other than that, I have no complaints about it. This is top notch one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks. This is the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade of 501C, A Short Affair, and it just looks like this. It's just a beautiful, like, light Barbie pink color. Now, I love this one because it's not super, super pigmented, so you can really layer this on your lips and create a nice, pretty color. It's pretty sheer on my hand, but it looks way darker on my lips, I swear. Um, it just looks like this. You can actually use this over top of a um, nude lipstick. Like, if you took this nude lipstick and then you put this pink on top, it would look so beautiful. I do have just one complaint about it. I wish it was just a little bit more pigmented. It has a glossy finish to this one for some reason, but it's very moisturizing. There's no sparkle or shimmer in it, but it's not very like opaque like the one I'm wearing right now. So my next and my last favorite top six drugstore lipstick is this one from Wet n Wild. This is actually the lipstick I'm wearing today. I did pair this lipstick with a liner so it probably came out just a little bit of a different color. Um, this is the Wet n Wild lip liner in the shade 666 Brandy Wine. And then the lipstick is the Wet n Wild shade, the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade 536A dark wine so this is what this one looks like I did pair it with a um, liner just because it is a pretty dark color and I didn't want it going everywhere so this is what this one looks like it's just a dark wine color I'm going to be swatching it for you all now this is the true color compared to my lip color this is what it looks like like I only did like one swipe and this is the color payoff, but I did it very lightly on my lips and patted it out with my fingers. And I used a lip liner so it's not as intense in your face. But this is what it looks like here. It's just a dark, deep wine color. I absolutely love it. It's a great color for fall. Um, by all means, you can totally like build this up on your lips and make it like a really deep, nice wine color. But today I was going for a dark lip, but not like a too dark of a lip, if you know what I mean. So this is a perfect color it does dry to a matte finish especially if you pat it a bit with your fingers 
So I definitely think that this is an amazing fall color for sure. It's only like 93 or 98 cents and I'm pretty sure they sell them at Walmart, CVS, probably even Ulta. I get mine from Dollar General. You could probably find them at Dollar Tree or Fred's or Family Dollar or Dollar Store. You could probably find them at that one too. Um... I think that this is a must-have color for fall, especially if you are into the darker lips. For the price and the consistency and the pigmentation, you just cannot beat it. So, yeah, those are my top six favorite lipsticks. You just can't beat it. I highly recommend any of these lipsticks right here. So if you guys would like a part two of glosses that are my favorite for drugstore or maybe more lipsticks that are my favorite from drugstore, then please let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Make sure and hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video comes out and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!